What's up y'all? It's your girl Anaya and welcome back to my channel. Also welcome to day two of 10 days of medical assisting where I'm giving you guys all the good, the bad, and the ugly of medical assisting. So today I know y'all saw the title of that video. We are going to be talking about the pros and cons of medical assisting. So with every job, every career, there's some good, there's some bad, there's some gray area, you know, yeah, so if you are an aspiring medical assistant or if you are a medical assistant who just recently got certified and has not gotten a job yet, you probably want to know, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So here we are. I'm going to give that to you today. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I hope that you look around and you like what you see so that you can subscribe and join our family. so my first pro of course for the medical assistant profession is going to be the direct patient care the direct patient experience that you get as a medical assistant is literally unmatched okay so you are going to be in these patients lives um, sometimes they're probably going to confide in you and tell you things about them and just being able to have an impact on so many different types of people in their lives is truly a privilege so that's definitely my favorite part about the medical assistant profession and my favorite part about healthcare just in general because it truly is a privilege to be able to serve the community in this capacity and to be able to have their trust in that way just really i feel like is so pure and so genuine and so unmatched so um that is definitely going to be my first pro that's one of my favorite things about healthcare in general so yeah, that's my first pro. My first con is definitely gonna be the pay, okay? So last week, or not last week, dang, I'm used to uploading it once a week, not last week, La yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I uploaded a video and we talked about um, how much medical assistance make in 2021. And you saw the average, it was a whopping $14 and something sent I don't remember what it was but that you know it's not a lot <laughs> and I'm single so of course it depends on like your lifestyle and what kind of lifestyle that you live what things you have to pay for you know of course family kids all that plays a role um, in how you feel about how much medical assistance get paid whether you think it's a lot or not a lot but for me personally in my lifestyle it is just not a lot <laughs> so uh, that's why I found myself recently having to use my degree to get a job because I can just make a lot more with my degree than I can with my medical assistant certification whether or not you view that as a con or a pro is up to you your city you know your circumstances this is just a con on my list because of my circumstances but for you you know if you live somewhere where medical assistants get paid freaking i don't know something 20 plus dollars an hour then you probably would be fine with that um with that salary but i definitely was not getting paid that much as a medical assistant so that is a con i couldn't imagine having to take care of kids and everything else with a medical assistant salary yeah alpha is enough my dog is enough so yeah that's definitely a con all right so pro another pro i feel like that a lot of people don't talk about as much is the lateral mobility of the profession itself medical assistants are literally needed everywhere everywhere so pretty much the emergency room you know inpatient outpatient OBGYN clinics offices literally everywhere uh, hospitals no matter where you go more than likely they're gonna have a medical assistant in that front desk spot so that's great for medical assistance because depending on where you want to get experience in, you pretty much have your pick as to where you want to go. Now, some areas may want you to have a little bit more experience than others. I know pediatrics is typically a little bit more picky about who they hire and who they don't hire. They often want you to have a little bit of experience beforehand. But other than that, like, 
you pretty much have your pick of the litter as far as where you want to go, you know, as long as they're hiring um, and you're a good candidate. But this medical assistants have a lot of lateral mobility, a lot of lateral mobility. They can move around a whole, whole lot. So another con that I had, which makes sense with me coming off of like the lateral mobility of the profession, how you can work pretty much um, in, in any area is that it can be overwhelming, right? Depending on where you work, what type of work you're doing. Medical assistants, contrary to what the public may believe, medical assistants do a lot. They have a lot of different tasks. Not only are they doing the admin work, but if you're also doing clinical work as well, collecting vital signs and things like that, you're the first face that the patient sees whenever they come into the office or whatever and it can definitely be overwhelming um, especially if you're not the type of person that can handle a bunch of different tasks at one time I like to say that I am very much so a multitasker sometimes I need to tone it down a little bit because I try to juggle so many different things <laughs> at one time but yes if you are not a person who enjoys that type of stress then medical assisting can definitely get overwhelming for you or for anybody on any given day so definitely going to be something that i think you should be prepared for especially if you are newly certified and looking for a job as a medical assistant or if you're thinking about going into this field but you just don't know you know what the what the flow is going to be all right you guys so another pro and the last pro that i'm going to mention today um just because this video is going to be pretty short and sweet um it's just the experience that you get so and when i say experience i'm thinking of it in terms of you can become a medical assistant and get a medical assistant certification and pretty much that experience and those skills are going to be transferable to anything you want to do in healthcare anything else so if you want to go become a nurse a pa a doctor a nurse practitioner you know whatever you want to do those skills are pretty much going to be transferable there there's going to be something from your ma career that you can use and to where it will give you a leg up in whatever other profession you are seeking out so that is definitely a very big pro because there are you know whenever you're seeking out these advanced degrees these master's degrees or or the doctoral degrees or whatever you are going to look very good with your medical assistant experience especially if you've accumulated a lot of hours at this point versus the person who doesn't have any healthcare experience and doesn't really know how they're going to react or do in that environment that is a huge pro especially if you are somebody who um, is going to try and pursue any of those things that i named a minute ago um, and you are thinking about getting this ma certification just to get you a little bit of experience do it it definitely is going to serve you well it's going to help you and it's going to help you look more competitive all right you guys so the last con that i'm going to mention is uh, the hours so typically typically now obviously this is gonna vary but typically medical assistants work eight to you know nine to fives eight to fours you know they work hours like that so there isn't a lot of leg room as far as like if you wanted to take classes and be a medical assistant at the same time i will say most of the time if you see a medical assistant position now this could just be in kentucky i don't know how people do it anywhere else but in kentucky most of the time when i'm seeing an ma positions they're always 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 full time so they don't want to have to hire um multiple medical assistants to fill a week they want one medical assistant that's going to be committed to coming in every single day and doing their eight hour shifts and if you work in a hospital probably doing 12 hour shifts so most of the time there's no flexibility at all really as far as like those hours so if you wanted to go back to school and do that at the same time generally it's not not really going to be possible especially if you're going to be taking in-person classes that are more than likely going to be in the morning um so that's 
a con, I think, because a lot of people do, you know, go to school or go to college part time and then, you know, work their job too on the side. With medical assisting, it's typically not going to be okay unless you are going to school online. So, and this is just like my from my experience in Kentucky. That's just where I'm coming from. Um, this definitely could not be the case in another state. If it's not, then comment below and tell me where you are and tell me how what the uh, hours are in your state. I know a lot of you guys are going to be going into some of your first jobs as medical assistants because a lot of you on my channel have recently been certified, you know, since you subscribe to my channel and we've I feel like I've taken this journey with so many of you guys and I feel like y'all have taken this journey with me and we're just really growing together and I'm a sap so I'm gonna stop before I cry but I feel like at this point I'm a part of you guys experience and you guys are a part of mine so those are my pros and cons hopefully those tips and tricks will be helpful to you guys as you take on your first jobs as medical assistant i wish you guys the best of luck in your medical assistant careers you can always dm me on instagram i do answer dms so you can follow me at underscore underscore anaya a-n-i-y-a h-h two h's at the end um other than that that's all i got for you guys today Tune in tomorrow for another video. Love you guys.